up everybody it's Mike with Omega Survival and this is my first abandoned places video I'm going into an abandoned coal mine I can't disclose any information about where it is about the location or anything like that because I don't want anybody being stupid and going into this place so stick with me and follow me all right everybody I'm working my way to the entrance now so I've never been here before. It's my first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. So stick with me. It's going to be really cool. All right, All right, everybody. I made it to the entrance of the mine. I can't show anybody outside of the mine or any landmarks. It'll give away the location. But just stick with me. This is it. It's the first time I'm here. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm right about 200 feet in the mine. What? All right, everybody, I'm pretty deep in the mine. And there's old oxygen scrubbers from the old miners. I mean, as you can see, I'm really deep in it right now. This is the real deal. If anybody sees a ghost in the background, leave it in the comments below. Check this out, everybody. I don't know if it shows up on camera. But the whole ground is just shaky. It's like a big blob of jello. <laughs> it's not all the spots. Just ones like that. I don't want to disrupt it. So uh, what happens when this finally collapses? The town's just going to go in. Yep. That's what the coal pillars are here for. Coal pillars? Yep. Coal pillars hold the whole town up. There's a certain specification that you can't I take think this the, white stuff the is. Coal out. Like these are sulfur right or something. Excuse that sign on the wall. I can't help what's down here. Disrespectful, if you ask me. Really awesome stuff here, people. Here's the old tracks. You can barely see them, make out the outline of them in the old coal carts. Now remember people, like I said, if anyone sees a shadow of a ghost in the background, let me know in the comments on the exact time frame it was and I'll go back and check it. Oh wow, is that a full split? Yep. Which way are we going, this way? Uh, For the right or? Both, yeah, I'll go back up. Which way is cooler? Uh, both of them. <laughs> this one's got the new stuff. That one's got the old stuff, this is all the new stuff. Let's go with the old. Mm -hmm. We'll all go back around and anyway. It's one of the sorts it's found, right? Yeah, but it should be all sorted out by now. I actually picked up one. It looked like uh, this one here. I'm not going to touch it, but that one there. And it looked like a shovel handle. And I picked it up, and my friend looked at me, and he's like, 
stop, 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 stop. And I was like, what? And I kind of like hit it against the rock because I dropped it. So he said, stop. And he like shit his pants. He's like, you just grabbed the dynamite stick and drop it. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> It looks like a fucking stick. Uh, dynamite boxes are usually back. If you look in the rock, you can find them. There's one down here with a medical sign on it. That's cool. That one is deep in this mine. You have to get some really sticky. Are there any breaker shoots? No, not in this one. That's the only one I've seen with that, other than that one you were talking about. Yeah. So this one doesn't go deep like that. She does a lot of shit. She does like shit. Where's the shit? My shoulder. Little tools. Oh, no. No. I knew it was going to happen. It's going on. Those are where you find kerosene maps in the monkey tunnels. It's where I found a really good one. In a dynamite bomb. Yeah, it's a monkey. I don't know if people want to see me or whoever I go. Well, maybe they won't have a stop for us. They're what? Sardines. Sardines. Sardine cans everywhere. They're just the side of it. Why do they leave the trees? Uh, because they got worn out in the soles and they're just dumping. There's another shovel. This is really cool, everybody. Very dangerous. Yep. Hold on. Is it a minor boot? This is a kerosene holder. There's also, a dynamite box. Was that an old box for dynamite right there? Yep. It was also transported uh, water for the miners. You said they love food, right? Yes. Yeah. You couldn't preserve food back then. You needed to eat whatever was most preservable. They eat a lot of pasties too and tea. My uh, fiance's grandfather was a breaker boy. And he, she said even when he died, his hands were still with the black veins going through him. He was constantly cracking the coal and cutting his hands and cold getting his lane. Mm -hmm. Every gangway should have one of these. Some don't because people tear them down. They're the gangway numbers. Oh. And I'll show you something else. Later. That makes a difference. Look, my light was on the wrong setting. So mm -hmm. much brighter it is now. Yeah. It was on low. How much do you pay for these lights? This one's like a $30 light. You get them right at Walmart or Lowe's. The one I got, that's why I took it. I wasn't bringing one of my 50 to 200 hour flashlights this to crank it. $60. Yeah, but that's the 1100 lumen that you got there, isn't it? Yeah. another kettle. These are your survey numbers. There'd be a little green pin that came down, yeah. and then you could tie a piece of string to it. And sometimes they'd hang uh, lanterns and stuff to see which way they're going. But this is a survey number. If you find a map for this mine, this will tell you exactly where you're going. painted on with a brush. Yep. It doesn't look like it was. It is. Spray paint. 
That is their serving number. That's original. I was wondering why my light was so dull. I thought the batteries were dying already. <laughs> and it said I'm low. <laughs> I can see your mom being a man. Those are dying. I'm an everything explorer. We want the tunnel to end with them. I don't worry about them falling down on me. Whatever it takes for the perfect shot, I guess. I found a tobacco pipe in there. Did you? Was it ivy? No. Made out of clay. Hand carved or hand made? Yep. Kind of broken back to egg. That's why I left it here. It's so dark and black in here, even the brightest lights don't penetrate as good as they should, like they do when you're outside. Yeah. For mine map? Yeah. Yeah, that's the PSU. Some really cool stuff. There's another shovel. I'm sure. I should have brought a through night, people. Everybody else sees the writing on that, right? Begley. Yeah, Begley. Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. If you film for a while, you start forgetting and stop realizing you're even on camera sometimes. Hmm. I mean, my light is significantly brightening the tunnel up down there, but on camera, it's just, it's not making a huge impact. Yeah. I should have had my GoPro with the infrared lens. Look at that shoot. God, it gets really narrow up there. Imagine how hard it was working on your back and on your side all day. Hey, turn it on. Oh, looks like a barrel or something. Probably is. It's a log. Yep, what they do is they build a metal uh, sluice right here, and when they blast it, they'd send the coal down into a waiting coal cart right here, and then the coal cart would go back in the track now. There's two locations in this mine with double wide track. Cart. There's another barrel. Looks like an old. I'm just gonna destroy it. Oh. You can have it. What? Sure. I'll take that instead of the other one. It's more intact. You, there was no path to walk through there. There was just a tiny little slim path. Yeah. There's a huge cavern in the mine. Came across these uh, old coal carts. It's old. 
see things like that. If you look down in there, this hole right here is a cavern. It just goes almost on a straight slope, some of them. This one's actually not too bad. But they go in a straight slope all the way down. It's an old coal vein. Just get behind me. Just in there. It actually branches off right here. One tunnel that goes that way. One tunnel that goes that way. I don't know which way we're going to go yet. Really cool, everybody. Hey, everybody, there's a old coal mine cart right here. It's still intact. It looks like they dump it from an old chute right there. You see the pieces of metal that they use to slide the coal down on. Take it over here really quick. Let's see what this looks like. Excuse the camera angle being on the side. I'm duck down because it's very low right here. Here's a shoot. All right, everybody, I'll take another couple of shots on my way out. There's another shoot up that way. They're all over the place, like spider webs. They just scatter in every direction. Just wherever the coal is, that's where they dug. It's really dark and dangerous down here. I really don't recommend to the general public that you come down into a mine like this. Period. And if you do, come down with somebody... It's experienced, knows the mine, knows what they're doing, and knows where you are. Always tell somebody where you're going to be if you're going to come into a place like this. At least do it safely and think about it a little bit and be prepared. All right, everybody. I'm on my way out now. I'd say I got about a half hour walk more. I've been walking for a little bit. It's going to be fun. It's pretty rough to get in here. I hope you guys can see this well. I have to get a camera with infrared. Oh fuck, I could cut myself. I ran down the freaking mountain. Infrared lens for the GoPro would be great for this. This is crazy. It's creepy. It's, uh, creepy as hell down here. Stopped, we keep thinking we're hearing growls. We didn't know where he was. I had to run about a mile. Anyway, I'll wrap this up when I get out towards the exit. So stay tuned. I made it to the entrance. 
I made it to the entrance, everyone. I see daylight. Well, everybody, I made it back outside. I don't want to show you the entrance, really. I'll show you around it, though. The pack. It's filthy. I'm filthy. Yeah. Well, everybody, it's Mike with Omega Survival. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my first abandoned creepy places video in my new series of exploration. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching.